Happy lockdown 3.0. De Christmas fire everything. Who's done that? Most exciting delivery of the year. Look at you, diva. Just exposing my entire family here. Fluff it up a little bit at this point. And that is how I'm feeling in my eyebrows right now. Good morning, everybody. It is the first Monday of 2021 today. It's the 4th of January, and this is the first time that I'm picking up my camera this year. So I'm very excited about it. I've had a little break. Um, I think I actually only missed one upload, but I pre-filmed a little bit before Christmas. So I haven't actually filmed for about two weeks other than my Christmas Day vlog. Um, so yeah, it feels a little bit strange to be picking up the camera again. I was a bit nervous about it last night. I don't know why, because I love filming, I love vlogging. But I think because I've been in the routine of vlogging for so long, that when I didn't do it, it felt scary to get back into it. I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, here we are, the first weekly vlog of 2021. I've gotten up this morning, took Sunny for a walk. The weather today is, some would call it miserable, I call it cosy. It's rainy, it's cold. It's not the nicest to take the dog out for a walk, but it's lovely when you're inside, that kind of weather. So yeah, we got a little bit soggy on our walk this morning. And then I came back and cuddled Sunny on the sofa because she was all wet and cold. And we both fell asleep for about an hour and a half. What a nightmare. I was planning on having such a productive Monday morning. To be fair, I did have a productive Monday before I took her for a walk, but it was not the plan to have a nap this morning. And now here we are. I'm ready. I'm actually about to film another video today. I'm going to declutter my hair cupboard because it needs doing so badly. That will already be up on my channel. It will be the previous video I uploaded. So if you've not seen that and you like a good organisation declutter type style video, then that is definitely the one for you. Go and check it out. But for right now, here is the love of my life. Oh, big stretch. Anyway, gonna get filming. So it's this cupboard here, particularly this shelf. Now from the front, that doesn't look that bad, but everything is balanced on each other. If I touch anything in this cupboard, the rest of it is gonna come crashing down, so it definitely needs sorting out today. Cannot wait to do this. But I actually spent almost the whole day yesterday tidying and cleaning my bedroom. Cause you know after Christmas, when you've got Christmas presents everywhere, I've been really lucky throughout December as well, like a lot of brands had sent me products and it had all just built up in my bedroom. I had things to return as well. It was such a mess and I do not like having a messy space. I'm the kind of person that is usually really tidy. So for me, it was just messing with my aura. So yesterday I spent the whole day cleaning and tidying at my bedroom and it took me nearly the whole day as well. And now look at it, I'm so proud of this. I feel like a kid that's showing their mum like come and have a look at my bedroom go and see what I've done I did briefly put this on my Instagram story ignore Sunny with a pair of socks there um, but yeah when you walk in this is what it looks like now I cleaned and tidied my bedside tables they mostly just needed a clean there wasn't that much clutter on them there she is with her socks you better not chew them Sunny you are aren't you oh no don't chew them, my love. There you go, have that end. Anyway, moving on. Over here, my dressing table, there was a lot of stuff on here as well. This is what it's looking like now. Obviously, got my phone and some teeth whitening strips that I'm going to do a bit later. Hand sanitizer and a face mask. <laughs> if that doesn't sum up last year, I don't know what does. But yeah, I've got all my everyday things here. My makeup bag. Got this perfume for Christmas. This is La Vie Estwell. Love it. It smells so good. And then over here, this is probably the biggest change. This was so full of stuff. There was also loads of stuff down here. Feels so nice and clear now. Everything is gone. Absolutely everything. I even cleaned my crystals yesterday. But I'm just so pleased with it. Also over here there was loads of stuff on that surface too. It feels a lot fresher. Are you still chewing these socks? Oh, look what she's done. Look what you've done. Oh no, who's done that? Oh look, she's all shy. You're so sweet little girl. You look so big sitting there. Are you mahoosive? Like a labradoodle. Oh my goodness, Sunny. Please don't chew those socks. Who's done that? Me. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get cracking filming the other video because it's the afternoon now and I feel like I'm going to lose the light soon. Um, and then I'll come back to you whenever that may be. I think we're having a roast beef dinner tonight, so I'll probably show you that. Oh, my mouth is watering already. Oh, look, here is the roasting question. You had a bit of a problem with the roast potatoes, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, just a bit. They turned into roast mash a little bit. We've got Brussels sprouts as well. It's not even Christmas. Yeah. Yorkshire puddings, cauliflower cheese, Sweden carrots. 
Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday and I am literally one minute late already to a puppy training Zoom. So we're having these catch ups just to see how all the puppies are getting on, if there's any issues that have come up in lockdown. Um, obviously we can't go back to puppy training for a while. But I'm about to join this meeting with my trainer and everyone else in the class and talk about the puppies. I'm really hoping Sunny's not going to bark. Okay, I've just got off the call. It's about quarter to 11 now. Today's job is to de-Christmas fire the house. And I'm actually really sad about it. Usually I'm sick of the Christmas tree by this point, I'm not gonna lie. But I think because our Christmas tree this year matches our house so well, it's just been a really lovely addition and I'm a bit sad to get rid of it. This is the last time you'll be seeing this tree in all its glory until next year. It's definitely my favourite tree we've ever had. Love the colour scheme, love the ball balls. You've been a joy my friend. Oh blimey, Phil Vickery's lockdown life. They're back. <laughs> Obviously guys, if you live in the UK, happy lockdown 3.0. Honestly, I'm not going to talk about it too much because I don't want to bore your ears off. You've all heard about it. But our government, man. What on earth? I don't know how they actually could have approached it any worse, if I'm honest. But yeah, we're back in lockdown. I feel so sorry for those of you that live in tiers one or two, even tier three, because obviously I was in tier four before, so it doesn't feel like that much has changed. We couldn't really do anything anyway. But anyway, the bananas have their time to shine again. Banana life, so they're gonna be back. Are we all gonna get baking again? Please though, no more Zoom quizzes. Oh, I can't be bothered with any more Zoom quizzes. It was nice the first time around, but I haven't got any more common knowledge left in me. I'm gonna make myself some breakfast because I've not even eaten yet today. I've had a cup of tea, but that was it. I woke up really late today by accident and I was like, oh my God, I've got this Zoom thing. I woke up at eight and then fell back asleep until almost nine o'clock. And that's really late for me. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't get time to eat breakfast before the Zoom call. So I'm gonna have it now. I'm gonna have porridge today, I think, because I feel a little bit chilly. Easiest porridge in the world is these little sachets. Whack it in the bowl with some oat milk, two minutes in the microwave, Bob's your uncle. Before I get started on de christmas fire in the house, I'm gonna take Sunny out for a walk. Cause she's been a bit of a nightmare today, I'm not gonna lie. She is barking out the window. She's barking at the door. Every time there's a bit of post that arrives, every time somebody walks in, every time somebody walks out and she's driving me a bit mad so I'm gonna take her for a nice long walk gotta wrap up warm because it looks a bit windy outside but <sighs> cannot wait I had to get back from this walk and sleep I'm not gonna lie as much as I complain though she is such a well-behaved puppy it's very very rare that I feel like a bit frustrated today's one of those days though because if anyone else has got a dog do they sometimes just have those days where they bark a lot she's definitely having that day today look at you diva is it because you were sent this this morning? A Chewy Vuitton bone? <laughs> I've had so many questions about this bag that I bought for Christmas, a little Chewy Vuitton. God, and I wonder why this dog acts spoiled sometimes. Um, anyway, yeah, I got her this for Christmas from a shop called Pooch's Toy Boutique and they very kindly messaged me on Instagram and asked if they could send Sunny the matching bones and now she's got the full set. Wow, your Chewy Vuitton collection is really coming along. Turned you into a right diva, hasn't it? Should we go for a walk? No, don't want to go out in the cold. I'm just getting myself all ready. <laughs> These bits of air at the front. Why do I look like a middle-aged French woman right now? Um, anyway, I'm not being cold. I've got my hat, my scarf, my gloves are in my pocket. I bought myself this bag a couple of weeks ago for dog walks and if you've got a dog, this bag is like the ideal dog walking bag. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's from Hunter and it's completely packable. Like you can fold it all up. Let me put you on a good height to show you. Here we go. So it's like Velcro on the top and then it's got this zip pocket and this is a really big pocket. I normally put Sunny's water bottle in here. And then there's another zip pocket on the front for like your stuff. I put like lip balm and things like that in there. But it's a really, really good dog walking bag. I think it's water resistant. It's not fully waterproof, but you can adjust the strap as well. So, wow, look at me, fashion icon. It is really, really handy though. 25 pound from the Hunter website. And I know I'm gonna use it a lot. So, highly recommend. Why are you hiding? You're gonna put this on? Come on, you. Okay, guys, we're back. 
And while I was out, something very exciting got delivered to the house. My mum was home, so she took it in. Oh my goodness, this might be the most exciting delivery of the year. I know it's only about the fifth day of the year right now, but I don't think anything is going to beat this. So let me introduce you <laughs> to our new little vacuum. This is the Dyson V11 Talk Drive. We've been looking for a cordless hoover for quite a long time. And when I've been researching, the Dysons always come up with the best reviews. So the Dyson have very kindly sent me this. I think this is their newest hoover yet. This is what the third lockdown has come to. I'm talking to you about a hoover, but I'm genuinely so excited about this. As a lot of you probably know, my dad's actually allergic to dogs. So ever since we got Sunny, she is hypoallergenic, but I've been really paranoid about keeping the house clean. Every evening I hoover without fail. I'm constantly wiping down surfaces, trying to pick up any little hairs. So this thrills me more than it would have done perhaps a year ago. <laughs> There's even a picture of a dog on the front. Aww. Oh, there's a picture of someone using it in their car as well. That's so handy. And I mentioned in one of my videos that I'm going to be getting a new car this year. So this is going to be so handy for keeping my new car clean as well. It's got so much info about the technology on the front of it. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description down below. Our current Hoover we have, the corded one, is actually a Dyson. And we have that serviced regularly. And the team over at Dyson are always so good with the servicing. So yeah, thank you very much to the team at Dyson. Let's test it out, see what I think. And if you like the look of it, go and check them out. Three different modes, auto mode, eco mode, and boost mode. Okay, so we've got all different attachments to go on it. Oh, look at this one. Look at her go, get your fan out. Oh, here she is. This is the main star of the show, I think. Wow, look at that rotation. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it looks like some sort of supersonic weapon. <laughs> right, I've gotten the Dyson all out of the box. It's even got a little screen on the top of it, and it said that it needs to be fully charged before the first use. So it's on charge at the minute. In the meantime, I'm going to de fire the house. My mum's just left the house. She's popped into our office where my dad works for an hour or so. So I've got an hour to get rid of everything. I haven't told her I'm going to do this yet, but she knows I was thinking about it. By the time she comes back, I want the whole house to be back to normal. So, give myself an hour to de christmas fire everything while the hoover's charging, and then it's going to be so satisfying to hoover the lounge once all the little bits of the Christmas tree have come off and things like that. So, very excited about this. Let's get cracking, setting myself this mission for Tuesday afternoon. Let me feel your love again. Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Do what we want to Ta-da! The tree is gone. I'm now gonna hoover. This is literally the best part. Look at all these bits down here. Bits of sparkle, glitter, bits of Christmas tree. Very excited to give this a clean, aren't we, Sunny? Oh my god, guys, okay, this looks really gross. Bearing in mind, I hoover every day. Obviously, our hoover isn't as powerful as this one because just from that quick little hoover, I think I spent five minutes doing that. Didn't even do the whole room. Look how much it's picked up. Oh my God, can you see that? I mean, that is disgusting, but how satisfying. <laughs> this is incredible. Thank you so much to the team at Dyson for this. I wanna do the rest of the house. I love Christmas as much as the next person, but how nice is it when you take the decorations down and everything feels so clean and fresh I've also cleaned the entire living room. You've got so much room to play now, Sunny. It does feel so nice and cosy in here. I'm excited to sit down this evening and watch a bit of telly. I'm gonna do a face mask tonight. Come here, but come back. Come on then. Come on then. <laughs> it's nice to get back to a bit of normality. I am about to hit you with the least exciting update in the world, but for me, it's very exciting. So, I don't know if I've mentioned this. I think I might have done, but not sure. Um, anyway, we have never ever done an online food shop. <laughs> I told you it was gonna be exciting. We've never done one because does anyone else's mum always say things like, I'd rather go into the shop and see what deals there are. She just never ever has come around to the idea of doing an online food shop. No matter how many times me and my dad have said, let's just do it online, it's so much easier. She's like, no, I wanna go and see what they've got. I wanna look at the dates on things, which is fair enough, I guess, but 
Now with the current situation, we were like, look, we need to stop going to supermarkets. So, our very first online food shop has just arrived at quarter to eight in the evening. It's unheard of. The fact that we've got all this food on the counter and we didn't go out and buy it, for some reason, has just blown my mind. <laughs> and I know how ridiculous that sounds because I know we are very, very late on this bandwagon, like years late. But I'm gonna show you what we got. I really enjoy watching other people's supermarket food hauls. So I'm gonna show you mine. First things first, the basics. We've got a couple of different types of rolls and some semi-skimmed milk. I actually only drink normal milk in my tea and coffee now. Other than that, oat milk all the way, which is why I've also got an oat milk here. I get through these so quickly though, it makes me a little bit sad. Box of washing powder, these burgers are the best chicken burgers in all the land, trust me, they're super cheap as well. So we've got two packets of those for the freezer. Bottle of wine, that's my mum's favourite. Some more porridge, like I showed you this morning. Family pack, absolute bargain. My dad's Skittles, he loves a packet of Skittles, he'll get through them in two nights. Just exposing my entire family here. Got another toothpaste, 12 medium eggs, a packet of face wipes. This is my dad's favourite beer, or is it a lager? I don't know, an ale. What's the difference? I have no idea. We've got some Doom Bar and then some other drinks are some tonic water, some Peronis and some appetizer for me. Pretty much the only things I drink are appetizer, apple juice or squash. So I'm very cheap to buy for in the drink section. Then we have all the veggies and fruits. So, oh, where's the bananas? Oh yeah, they were out of stock. Right, I'm still getting to grips with this. We've got a cauliflower. We've got a tender heart cabbage. We've got parsnips, Braeburn apples, not the best ones. Pink ladies are defo my fave. Tender stem broccoli. Some garden peas, some diced swede. We normally get a whole one, but again, was out of stock. Got some new cereals um, because I've been having either Cocoa Pops or porridge for, I kid you not, months now. And I'm just a bit sick of Cocoa Pops. So we've got two packs of these crispy minis. These are the chocolate chip ones, offs. Then in this little savoury section, these are like, I think they're three for three pounds or something like that. I can't remember. But 12 savoury mini eggs. Pesto and pine nut pasta salad. This is so yummy. A little pack of these six pepperoni pizza parcels. I think I've had these before and I'm sure I liked them. But I just ordered these because they were in the deal with these ones. Then we've got these olives. These were a substitute. We did actually just choose like smaller olives. But we got sent these massive ones. Olives on steroids. This is my new favourite cheese ever. I mean, I haven't just discovered it. I've eaten this for a long time. It's just recently become my fave. A carton of apple juice, some kitchen rolls and a big bag of french fries. So that's everything we got for the minute. You might look at that and think, what meals can you make out of that? But we buy all our meat from a local butcher to support them. So we just need like little bits and bobs really to go with the meals. And obviously we've got like spices and sauces and things like that. Oh, and I forgot these. Um, Gravy stocks, stock pots. So yeah, just our first little food shop, but all of this came to 78 pounds. I think that's quite expensive, but it's definitely the alcohol that does it. That is That bumps the price up so much. I'm actually so glad that I don't drink anymore because when I move out, my food shops are gonna be so much cheaper than these. If you took out the drinks, it would have been like, I reckon 55, 60 pounds for all of this. And I think that's really good, so yeah. That's our weekly food shop. But we're pretty much, we're just testing the waters with the online food shop. I don't know why I'm trying to justify myself. This is what we've bought. I know you can't make full meals out of a lot of this stuff, but <laughs> what am I even saying? Welcome to my Asda haul, where I overthink everything. Do you know what? My hair looked so nice this morning. I've done my little um, front bits and they looked lovely. It's the first time I actually looked in the mirror and thought, do you know what, Han? Those front bits of hair, they've actually gone well today. And then I went out for a dog walk. <laughs> Enough said about that. But my hair's still a little bit curly from when I curled it the other day. Um, but in so in desperate need of a wash tonight. So that's why I've put it up. But I'm still liking the little wavy look. Um, anyway, it is now Wednesday. It's actually about lunchtime now. I've just spent the whole morning. I obviously went for a dog walk early this morning. And then... I've just been editing for the rest of the morning because it's taken me quite a long time to edit this video. Paid my tax this morning as well. Lovely. Happy Wednesday. I'm not going to lie though, I do feel massive relief when I've paid my tax. I'm the kind of person I hate owing people money. And I know everyone owes the government money all the time. Like, you're always going to have tax to pay. But when it's done, I'm like, oh, I haven't got to think about it until July now. But I do really need to fill out my tax return book of all like my income and my outgoings because I had left that book with my accountant for months 
months during lockdown so I'm very behind on it. I don't know if anyone would find it interesting hearing about how YouTubers do tax but basically I go through all of my bank statements, write down everything that comes in or goes out for work, when I did travel into London for meetings, my travel expenses and things like that and then I hand that book to my accountant, he goes through it and figures out how much tax I need to pay because I would not have a clue how to do that. He emails me back saying this is the amount you need to pay in January and this is the amount in July because I think I pay ahead. So basically in January you pay two thirds and then in July you pay the last third pretty much something like that so i've paid the bigger bill this morning and it just feels like such a weight off my shoulders wow this vlog i've talked about hoovers i've talked about tax happy 2021 i'm about to go and have some lunch now because i'm really hungry i've just got a couple bits in the oven i'm having a lovely little picky lunch today my favorite kind here we go then Groups of three today, didn't even mean to do that. Although I did have defo at least three chunks of cheese while they were cooking. But I've got some pesto and pine nut pasta. These little ham rolls, they're not really ham, what's it called? I don't know, posh ham. We have cheese in the middle, some smoked cheese, absolute best. Some little scotch eggs and then these have been in the oven. These are barbecue pulled pork wraps and these are pepperoni pizza parcels. Very beige lunch. But I've paid me tax, I deserve it. <laughs> I'm a good person today. And while I'm eating my lunch, I'm gonna watch this series I started yesterday. It's this one, it's called Accused, A Mother on Trial on BBC One. So I'm guessing it's gonna be on iPlayer. It's a four part series, I'm on episode two. If you're into true crime, it's a really interesting one to watch but it is a very upsetting story. So I will say if anything around the topic of infant loss or children in general really gets to you, then definitely miss this one because it is a very upsetting story, but it is a really interesting series. So I'm gonna continue watching this, eat my lunch, and then I'm gonna carry on editing. This is basically what most of my life looks like. True crime, picky lunches and editing. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, so I was just doing my makeup this morning and I've done like all my base and everything I was just about to start my brows and then I actually thought a lot of people on Instagram recently I don't know why but it seems to be a common theme in my DMs about my eyebrows at the minute But thank you very much if you're one of the people that have messaged me A lot of people said how nice my brows look recently so I don't know why my makeup routine is very simple But because it's so simple I thought I'd show you what I do to do my eyebrows in the morning There's a few different products that I like I'm actually trying to grow my eyebrows out at the minute every single night i'm putting this on it it's right here i'll show you this is 100 percent pure castor oil i got this on amazon this is organic cold pressed i don't know what it needs to be i just heard that castor oil is good to grow your eyebrows so i'll leave a link to the specific one that i bought in the description down below i started using it on the first of january so i haven't been using it for very long i bought it ages ago and forgot i bought it so seven days i've been using it for right now my main part that i need to grow out is this eyebrow on this end it is definitely over plucked hopefully they'll get a bit fuller and thicker but in the meantime i am faking the full brow so i'll show you what i use the first thing all these products are just what work for me i'm gonna talk to you as if i'm talking to my younger cousins who are like 10 years old so i don't mean to sound patronizing but i just find that a lot of tutorials i watch i don't understand what they're saying so i'm gonna make it really simplified basically is what i'm saying please don't be offended by it but personally the shape of eyebrow that i like is like the arched look split into two thirds and then a third is kind of how i like judge it i like a pointed end i like them not too full and i personally like them fairly neat so the first product i use is from glossier and this is the brow flick i use the shade blonde from glossier and this is basically let me show you a close-up so it looks like a felt tip but it is actually like really tiny hang on how can I show you this it's like little hairs like you can split it apart see oh look did you see that how I split it then it's really hard to show you but it's not like one solid felt tip it's basically mimicking hairs see look oh there you go you can see it there so this is the first product that I use <laughs> that was a very long-winded introduction to brow flick and um, basically I use this on the inner part of my brows ignore my tan I'm like in the mix of exfoliating it off right now so it looks disgusting da -da 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 -da. oh that's me stoz right okay so first of all brow flick i put this on the inner part of my brow and i kind of do i make like a line so this is the bottom of the brow i am not explaining this well and first of all i kind of like outline the bottom of my brow with this 
the main part is to keep the arch here so I've gone a little bit too far down so I just take a little brush and kind of fix that and then I kind of just do like little flicks up into the brow of this for me, I feel like that's the most important part is to have quite a clean, neat line underneath my brow. I feel like that's what makes it look really neat. And then I kind of just use my finger to rub it in at the um, start of my brow. What's that called? The inner part. I don't put loads of products on the inner part of my brow. So then I also use the brow flick to kind of create a bit more of a shape up the top. But you'll see this isn't going to look good. This isn't the final product that I use. So I kind of create a rough arch with this. Then I've found that my brow arch is quite patchy right now. So then I use this from Benefit. This is the brow styler. And one end of this is like a powder. There we go. So it's just like a little, I don't know how to describe the end of this. It's quite solid. It's quite a bold. Like if you were to just use this on your brow, they would look very blocky. But I use this to kind of like make the shape a bit more, oh, come on camera fi because you can do it. Um, yeah, make the shape a bit more defined, I guess. And just like fill in the patches on the arch and then I brush through them constantly as I'm doing them. Anywhere else that I feel like looks a bit patchy, I'll use this, but don't go too heavy with this product. My camera focus is driving me insane, sorry about that. But the next thing I use is from Glossier and this is the Boy Brow, again in the shade Blonde. And this is like a gel, um, but it's coloured. So I just run this through my brow, but I don't use a lot of this to be honest. I just kind of feel like this makes sure that there's colour all over the brow. And I kind of fluff it up a little bit at this point. It's looking a little bit messy underneath, so I'll take the brush again. And then once the boy brow's kind of dried, I use the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. All the writing has rubbed off because I love this. I use this every single day. And this is basically just like a clear gel that's gonna hold them in place. Again, I spike upwards, just because I like it to look neat underneath and then a little bit fluffy on top but I don't keep it this fluffy, you'll see. So that's how we're looking right now. I'm now gonna neaten up underneath a little bit more. So I'm gonna take some concealer and run that underneath my brow. Then I take a flat brush and blend that in. Anywhere I feel like it's not quite straight, I'll use brow flick again to kind of fill it in. So here. And then the spikiest bits, I kind of tame them a little bit. There we go. So it's still not dead neat, but it's not really fluffy either. And then the last thing I use is a brow bone highlight. And I just use this here to lighten up underneath my brow. And that is how I'm feeling in my eyebrows right now. I'm gonna go do the same on the other brow, but I just like quite an arch. I like it quite neat, but not like really slicked down. A Little bit fluffy, but the neat edge under the brow is really important for me, so yeah. That's how I do my eyebrows. Thanks for coming to my tutorial. Okay, so we have just got back from a dog walk, haven't we? Walking you, because you're the dog. She's like, I'm not a dog, I'm a human. <laughs> I am a human child. Um, and I got back to a delivery, which I've been really excited about. I thought I would get myself a little New Year treat. So I got myself some new earrings. And I never, ever spend a lot of money on earrings because I changed them so much. But recently I've just been forgetting to wear them. So I wanted to get some that I hopefully can just leave in. And I know I'm gonna get comments like, don't leave your earrings in or whatever. But my mum wears hoop earrings and she sleeps in her. She has done for years and years and she's always been fine. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to do that with these. I know they'll probably tarnish quicker and things like that. I don't wanna hear your horror stories. I personally wouldn't sleep with like studs in because of the pointy bit, but hoops, I feel like that's okay, right? So I ordered a couple of pairs of silver hoops from a brand called Astrid and Mayu, Mayu, not sure how to pronounce it. This is the brand, I'll link them down below. I've seen a lot of adverts for them because they're really good for like cartilage piercings. They make really tiny huggies, which are earrings that literally hug your ear. So the two pairs that I picked out, these are for my lobes. I bought one for my cartilage a while ago, just before Christmas, I think that was. They are so small, they're gonna be really hard to show you. I thought they were super cute. The camera's not doing them justice, but they're really sparkly in person, they're so pretty. And the other pair, these are both really tiny, but the other pair look like this. I'm trying to show you in the light. Can you see that little diamondy bit? There we go. So that's the other pair. Excuse my nails, I really need to redo them. So these are the two that have arrived this morning and I've just put them in and I think they look so cute together. The one I've got in my cartilage is also from Astrid and Mayu or Astrid and Mayu. Um, and it's just like a plain 
sparkly ring. I only changed that. I think it was just after Christmas, but I'm not sure. It might have been just before. But before that, I just had the same earring in it that it was pierced with, which I know isn't great. It took me ages to change it. But I have now, and I think it looks super sweet. And then these um, other hoops, I think they complement it really nicely. The cartilage one is basically the same as this one, but without the dangly bits. I feel like they match really well. Here's a close-up of what they look like. They are quite expensive. They're quite pricey earrings, but like I said, I'm hoping pin that I'm gonna be able to just sleep with them in and wear them all the time so far they feel lovely quality but the only thing I will say is beware like make sure you look at the dimensions if you're gonna purchase a pair of earrings because they are smaller than I thought well the ones that arrived today I knew they were gonna be that small but the cartilage one I was not prepared for how small that actually is. Luckily it fits my ear fine and it's actually what I was really hoping for. But you can't return the earrings because of hygiene reasons. So if it arrives and it doesn't fit in your ear, you're stuck with it then and they are quite expensive. So definitely check the dimensions. But once this one arrived, I was so happy with it. The quality, the way it looked in my ear, the size of it, that I decided to purchase the lobe ones as well. So I knew they were gonna be nice and small too. I'll leave links to all three of these earrings in the description down below just in case you are interested and if you want to treat yourself but not sponsored not an ad or anything i bought these with my own money i just thought it'd be worth a review because i've seen this online a lot this brand on like facebook ads or instagram ads but i never had actually heard anyone talk about it but i'm really impressed the quality seemed really lovely and i'm happy with how they look all together they're like a little family i know i'm incredibly well lit right now it's because there's a power cut and the only source of light in the house is brought to us by moi of course I have a portable ring light. So this is all we're working with. We've got the portable charger and the ring light. I'll link this on Amazon, it's actually really handy. For TikToks, for Instagrams and for power cuts. Isn't that handy? Your first ever power cut. <laughs> she got so scared when the lights went off, bless her. Well this looks lovely. <laughs> <laughs> not chocolate or poo clearly put a face mask on but guys i have just finished editing this video i love how it's become a tradition for me to finish these vlogs with a face mask on usually because it's a saturday evening i'm stressing to get the vlog finished so i think how can i de-stress and i put a face mask on i think that's deep down why i've always got a face mask on at the end of a vlog but i'm there i'm finished it's 10 to 9 it's an early finish tonight very exciting i hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog if you did please do give it a big thumbs up literally nothing happened this week so i'm quite amazed that a 30 minute vlog has come out of it so yeah if you enjoyed it please let me know it would be much appreciated and let me know in the comments down below what's the best thing that happened to you this week mine is defo the dyson arriving oh my god i've used it every day since can confirm and my mum agrees it is the best vacuum we've ever ever had in our whole lives in my 22 years of existence of which i've been hoovering for many <laughs> so thank you again to the team at dyson for sending that and there'll be a link in the description down below if you're interested but anyway guys do subscribe stick around for my future videos and my future weekly vlogs let's see what 2021 has in store for all of us i have no idea where this year is going to go thanks for watching i hope next week treats you well and i'll see you again soon with another little video bye guys love ya